All right, so here is the longtime Jackson Wink MMA staple, former UFC women's bantamweight champion Holly Holm. DC, she's got the highlight of all highlights. She'll be looking to produce another one here tonight. That night she knocked out Ronda Rousey was absolutely insane because Ronda Rousey was still riding super hot. Nobody thought she had a chance. Set up that beautiful head kick just because, as always, Holly Holm will follow a game plan to a T. One of the smartest fighters in the entire UFC uses her brain, her skill, and her footwork in order to set traps for opponents, and then she strikes and strikes to finish the fight. Holly Holm is a phenomenal fighter. And when her back has been up against the proverbial wall, she comes out and dominates someone like Megan Anderson, as she did back at UFC 225. Holly Holm chasing further greatness here tonight. to the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as this as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense time. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Holly, the preacher's daughter, Paul. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed, Dean, our referee ready, for this ready, one. Ready. Good. So we get another look at Holly Holm tonight, still trying to harken back to the form that saw her knock out Ronda Rousey late in 2015. She's dealt with some adversity recently in the UFC. We'll see if she can get another finish tonight. They're certainly getting after it early. Big right hand. Oh! Oh, right hand! Vicious combo there! Big uppercut! Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, man, some big shots, too. Oh! Early connection with the left from the champ. So one minute into the fight, and look at these two warriors just going at it. She better be careful, though. You got to think gas tank might become an issue at some the point. The gas tank will become an issue if you fight so reckless. You cannot be this reckless in a fight inside the option. Beautiful connection lands. Fighting long is the key. Hell 
of a front kick there. That's a great Muay Thai technique when you're trying to charge him. You land that kick to try to back him up and get your space exactly where you need Leg kick is there. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful jab land. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Big left hand there inside. Well, she's got a good jab. Missed with it there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, strong series of kicks by her there. It's almost like she throws her feet as if they're two more hands. I mean, that is crazy. Use every weapon available, and she is using her kicks as her main weapon. It's worked. She it's missed with that jab. It's worked. Just over two minutes, round one. That was great head movement. Holy oh, man. So 37 total strikes for Holly Holm. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Holm. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having would not be easy. But she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on. And that spinning kick out its home up top. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase it. Back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. Big right hand there. Oh, with authority, the body. Final seconds of round one. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. Well, I'm just not sure how many more strikes she can take to that swollen area as they attend to her. We'll get you some replays. Not many, J.A. She's in trouble. It's damaging, and every time another one lands on that type of swelling, it feels like a jolt of lightning through your face. She has got to move her head. She's got to be proactive in her defense so she's not taking too many shots. All right, second round underway. Well, pretty good showcase for these two women in the previous round as our next round gets underway. Some risk management in the previous five minutes. This is a big moment for both of these fighters. Somebody is really going to have to make a decision that they are the one that's going to get their hand raised. The previous round was way too close. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset. 
Her, they have probably her best strike in the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Hands high, hands high. Holmes' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, she caught the kick. She misses with the left punch there. Takedown defense holds up. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Well, it looked like we were gonna get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent's still standing. She's still standing, but she's gotta get on her bike now. She's gotta get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. She's hurt her opponent several times in this round. We acknowledge the durability on the other side, but how about just getting aggressive? Beautiful combination. Oh, nice kick. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. She's got phenomenal reflexes. Holmes lower jaw is extremely swollen now. She lands a side kick. She got that leg kick off quick. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking move. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down. Slip that one. Oh! Tries the flying knee to no avail. Oh, she's got it going on with that switch kick. You remember the first time you attempted one in practice? Yeah, the first time I tried to do a switch kick, it looked ridiculous. I can't... I... Five seconds remain in the round. <laughs> Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. No! Oh, she's hurt. Yep. Oh. Well, she's able to get up, but she is officially on wobbly legs. Oh. 20 seconds left. Of yours. Oh, no. Seconds here. Oh, my oh, saved by the bell. Huge shot stunner just before the end of the round. And now you see her walking back to that stool, a little bit unsure of herself. We'll see if her corner can get her head back in this fight. Might have been on the wrong end of a 10 8 there at the end of that round. Huge knockdown just before the end of the frame. All right, so the big moment in that previous round was the knockdown. We'll get to the replay now. DC, take us through it. She was able to get her chance. She was able to find her moment. She recognized that an opportunity presented itself. She took it and landed that beautiful knockdown. You ready to fight? 
Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. They're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Yours a strike attempt there is blocked. Holmes' nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel. I can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Holly Holm. Great job getting to her position. Right into that single collar type. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight. And it's made for a very fun fight. Just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. decision is in here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at one minute, 18 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly the Creature's Doctor. So your winner tonight, Holly Holm, the preacher's daughter. She's been a little bit up and down in her UFC.